Welcome back to Sword Coast Legends. Continuing my forays into the Underdark. I managed to uh, recalibrate this portal, but before I go through it, let's check out what's inside this here abandoned dig site. You're right. Oh, okay. It's another mine cart. So it looks like a locked door that I can't get through right now. Why is this showing something then if there's nothing there? Why even have that there? Uh, okay. Well, I clicked on the corpse. What happened? Ah, there we go. This body has been torn apart by demons, but you find a note in his satchel. This one is from someone named Dormant. Cora. So if the sequence is uh, so if the sequence is six turns like we discussed, then should that additional turn be added before Gundren's findings? I've taken care of things on my end, sending this note down to down with Olara. Is that a clue for a puzzle? This Durgar died while clutching his satchel. Inside are several pages with numerical sequences and the few he seemed to be using for a journal. They're all fools using me as a courier because they think I'm too stupid to read. I've already figured out the sequence thanks to their notes, but they'll never know it. There's actually seven turns, not six. Korat was right about the last two, but, the, but there's a fifth before them. Another right turn. Once I get rid of him, I can grab the treasure for myself. large imposing iron door stands before you. At its center is a dial. So, additional, okay. Seven turns. Right on the last two. There's a fifth one before them. Another right turn. So if the fifth one's right, I would think it maybe it alternates. So if the fifth one is right, then it should go, let's see, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. I'll give it a shot. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right, left, right. Okay, I'm going to need to find more notes, I think, is what it is. These two notes help, but I think I'm going to need to find more. All right, let's go, let's go check out this port. There were Duergar coming out of this portal, so... Maybe I'll find more Duergar with uh, notes on. Or maybe I can shake one down for information or something. This is a new area. Cool. There's a campsite here. Aha, another corpse. Good. The embers have long gone, long since gone out, and the ashes look like they've been kicked around. Crystal ages. They must have been trapped here. Shame. Ah, encumbered. That sucks. Um, let's 
Let's check out this armor. Plus three armor class. Deals one to five radiant damage to attackers when strong. 10% chance when struck to blind. Mm, straight up armor class wise, it's better than what I'm wearing. It doesn't give me the plus two to wisdom. And 50% poison damage resistance is pretty good. But 10% chance to blind is nice. One to five radiant damage, not the greatest thing in the world, but it's something. Let's see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, this armor looks cool. I think I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Kind of sucks that I'm encumbered, but it is what it is. I suppose I could return to the surface, but let's not do that just yet. Hopefully I can find a uh, merchant down here somewhere. Do we have another... This Durgar apparently starved in his sleep. There's a note on his body signed by Korra. Gundren is a damned fool. We already determined that the first two turns are left. Hopefully the rest of the sequence is correct. Though I have my doubts. The, the very last two in the sequence should be right and left. Alright, so the first two, so it's left, left, something, something, right right left keep that part to yourself and go ahead with the plan when you're finished meet me down here and we'll get what came out of here what came here f for before the rest of them realize we've opened it i'll take care of all of it so it's left left something something right right left well there's only so many combinations i can just go ahead and try it as well one, two, three, four different combinations. Not gonna take me that long to try. That I can work with. Why does this still show up as treasure if there's nothing there? It just bothers me. I go to grab it and hey, it's empty. Okay. Let's see. All right, so let's try left, left, right, left. Right, right, left. You hear a loud metallic clanging as something inside the door releases. Ha ha! First try. Well, first try after reading the notes. Enter Isaxus Kiln. Yes. Maybe I should drop some uh, mundane stuff. If I have enough mundane stuff to get me below, nah, everything I have is at least green. Although these are burning dawn things, they won't... Oh, they don't weigh anything either. Okay. It's this armor. It weighs so freaking much. But it's worth a lot of money. So, yeah. Hmm. I don't know what that side of things. These are stat heavy. I have so many of these treasures and stuff, but I don't want to. They're worth money. I don't want to just get rid of them. Screw it. I'll just deal with being encumbered for now. I'm sure this place is going to be filled with traps. As evidenced by this burnt core. Oh, and there are demons. Okay. That's smart. Why 
Ice Choker, plus 2 to Wisdom saves, plus 15% movement speed. still have the buff, so does she, okay. She still has, ah, the shout, it's already active, okay. Oops, wrong, wrong ability. There we go. There's a lot more of them. All right, time to go into machine gun mode. Combat? What combat? There's more combat? I'm not fighting anybody right now. Apparently there must be an enemy close enough, so let's... Yeah. Do this com during combat. What combat? Right, you know what? I'm gonna clear this whole damn place out. Okay. Oh, so there was one that was invisible that was around. Can I can I search the stuff now? Man, I, that guy was invisible for a while. Burdum Expedition Journal, Entry 4. We're trapped. Those idiot miners must have tripped something and closed the door on us. I can hear it coming up the halls. The screaming has stopped. We might be the only ones left now. Durell still hasn't woken up, and I can't feel my leg. I'm gonna hide from here. I'm gonna hide him here and see if I can find what triggered that door. Damn closets. Probably behind this door. Oh, it's trapped. And there we go. So 
Supreme Healing. Nice. So much junk to sell. Looks like another uh, member of the expedition. We heard explosions down in the ritual chamber today. The guards say the elemental down there is giving them some trouble. Let's hope they shut that thing up, up soon. The new guys look like they're ready to bolt if there's so much as a rattle in these caves. traps. They finally figured out the, that seal to the door. None too soon, too. Torga's been going on a rampage trying to get that damn thing open, though it's hard to blame her. An elemental's flame, that's a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Made it to the ritual site. It's been better than I could have hoped for. All of the scrolls and texts are still here. Inscriptions, materials, everything we need. Game assures me that he, we can bring the elemental here using the chamber down below. Soon, soon the world will see my greatest work. And there's a ghost. To tell me all about how things went terribly, terribly wrong, I'm assuming. And, ooh, secret passage. Alright, let's not go through it just yet. Hello there, ghost person. You, you're alive. It's been so long. I thought this cavern must have become lost in time. But here you are, in the flesh, and ready to free us from this horrible curse. Who are you? My name is Torga Burdoon, Master Smith of Citadel Adbar. My crew and I traveled the world in search of new materials to perfect our craft, always looking for ways to create even greater weapons. It was my dream to forge something of legend, something whose name might echo throughout history, a weapon to be wielded by the greatest heroes or villains. But nothing in this world was worthy. I searched elsewhere, other planes, which leads us here. This cabin was the site of many drow summoning rituals, though it has been long abandoned. We found ancient texts describing a creature named Izaksu, Forged from a fire elemental and bound here at this site. We broke the seal to its chamber, foolishly thinking we could harness its flame for our work. The creature was too powerful. It nearly burned all of us to ashes upon exiting the portal. Those that survived fled, but we triggered the drow's traps and the door sealed us in. It stalked us without mercy, but death did not truly touch us. We returned like this, trapped for decades, unable to pass on cursed. So what happened to that elemental? It still waits below, by the forge. Even as ghosts, we can't approach it. It forces us to relive the pain of our scorching death, and then wake again where our charred bodies lie. Well, how can this curse be broken? Our purpose must be fulfilled. It's our destiny to forge a weapon of legend, and we will not die until that task is complete. Okay, can I have that um, weapon of legend? That's where you come in. Brave adventurers that have boldly cut their way through demons, ready to march into the hellfire and pull the heart from that elemental. Destroy the elemental and I shall harness its flame and forge a legend. For me, right? Take this ritual seal. It will unlock the door to the elemental's lair. 
Show me. Show us all that you are worthy enough to wield my greatest creation. C can I choose what kind of weapon you wield? There's another ghost. And another ghost. And another ghost. Can I talk to these ghosts? They just ignore me. Okay. And it's a hook horror. Here. Have a mark. A sarcophagus. I hope there's something good in there. Almost everybody got confused. It's just Jarhild fighting it. Well, she's doing a damn good job, though. Yeah, this should spice things up a bit. Well, that was some pretty disappointing treasure for that sarcophagus. Oh well. And if 
Venom the Reaver. Two to eight slashing, plus two to hit and damage, deals one to four poison damage on hit. Not better than Mace of Servaltar. Pretty close though. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, hey, blazing skeletons. You know what this would be a good yes. time for? So turn on that. Wow, they saved. Alright, well, I'll kill him the old fashioned way then. Dexterity plus one critical range. Oh. Oh. And she has, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'd rather have the plus three to all piercing damage and the plus six to lock picking. Is this where the super elemental is? It's an awfully big chamber. This looks like just the kind of chamber for a super elemental. There we go. Alright, alright, hold on. Don't just rush right in. Yeah. Get your shout going. Let's get a plus. Okay, that's already done. Emulation sphere is kind of stupid, don't you think? The thing's made of fire. So yeah, witch bolt. Um, yeah, okay. I can mark them. Good. And I can go into machine gun mode. Done it just as I knew you would. Damn, that was easy. What a chump. The elemental's fire is what we've sought for so long. Even in death, to be able to bend it to our will, to forge a design of our own. It will make all these torturous years worth it. Stand back, adventurers. You've done your part, and now I will fulfill mine. Can, can I tell you what kind of weapon I want? The time has finally come. Everything we must go into the to this blade. All will remember our names, our sacrifice. I don't even get to choose the weapon. Ooh. It's finally done. Far more beautiful than I could have imagined. This belongs to you now. Wield it well and it shall become legend. Take care, adventurers. May they write stories and sing songs about your deeds for years to come. I get. I mean, that is one hell of a short sword. All right, well, this will go well in her set here. So damage. Like I said, she has to cause for the ring. All right, let's do this. Put that there, and we'll put that there. There we go. Switch her back over to her. And now she's got two really cool swords that she'll probably almost never use. <laughs> ah, such is the way. I'd much rather she had forged me like a badass uh, 
great axe or a mace or a bow, but hey, whatever. It's cool. I got experience out of it. I guess I shouldn't be. I guess I shouldn't be complaining. That damn elemental dude was shockingly easy to kill. And oh, that's a way out. Okay, that's cool. But I haven't um, finished exploring this area yet. I'm sure there's some more douchebags for me to kill. There's that secret door to look at. What's that? What in the world was that? Wow, that was, um, yeah. I don't know what the hell that sound was. Didn't sound good, I can tell you that. Didn't sound friendly. Alright. Let's see what's behind here. Treasure, because I'm not already encumbered enough. That's okay, I'll take it, I'm greedy. So, Baldrick, okay. It'd be nice if I actually used Sneak, but I mostly use her as an archer, so. A potion of superior um, healing, though. Those are nice. I like building up supply of those. I'm not going to use them just yet, but they'll be great for the future. Alright, so where do I have left to go? Straight ahead and up this way. That comes back to the entrance. I haven't been up there. It's probably not much there, but I need to know. This again? If the purpose of that sound is to hurt my ears, mission accomplished. Eh, we got a demon. So this just brings me back towards the way I came in. We are explosions down in the ritual chamber today. Okay, I've read this one for two copies of the same note. Girdle of Pain. Plus three to all poison damage dealt, plus two to strength. Okay. for me. I wonder if 
does that raise my Mac? It does. Okay, so what it does, I guess, for encumbrance is that it, it uh, because it was 330 before, it's 330, it's 340 now because my strength went up. So I guess it combines all our um, encumbrances maximums from the strengths. Okay, so that's cool. Can I exit this way or do I have to, did this get locked now? Or do I have to go through this super sneaky exit that's on the other side where I killed the shockingly easy super elemental? Looks like it's open. Waistband of stillness. Ah, oh, another puzzle, dude. Thank you. Oh, this just brings me back to where I was before, it looks like. I've been here. Can I change this to something else then? What if I touch this again? I'm gonna have to figure out it's probably gonna be have to be one of the other portals anyway gonna leave off here now and then we'll figure this out next time <laughs>